everyone, it's Moose and thank you so much for joining me back here. Today I thought we would do a little bit of a different video. I recently did a video a couple months ago, I guess, of all of the adult books on my bookshelf. Today we are going to do all of the YA books on my bookshelf, all of the young adult books. For the first ones, I'm not even going to take them off the shelf because there are a lot of them and they're heavy. I have the whole Twilight series. I have the original four. I have Midnight Sun up here, my baby. I have the Twilight and Life and Death bundle, I guess. <laughs> I haven't read Life and Death. I tried to. That's a different story. And then I have the encyclopedia thing that tells you everything about the world. The only thing I'm missing is the Brie Tanner book, which I have read. I just didn't buy it. I think I read it from the library, maybe. I have Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This was so good, guys. Oh, I have mascara on my finger. I just recorded a video and had that the whole time. Anyways, this was one of my favorite reads of last year, 2019. So good. I read it so quickly. It's mixed format. So, I mean, it, it kind of gives it to you in computer files and audio clips that have been transcribed. I mean, it's so, so good. It's a YA science fiction novel, but it I, I highly recommend it. I know it's very, very popular on booktube, but I think it deserves the hype. Next up, I have the Hunger Games trilogy, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. One of my favorite. I recently reread this. Me and Ethan read through it together. So this was a reread of mine this year. The Maze Runner series by James Dashner. There's The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, and The Kill Order. I think there's another one. The Fever Code, I'm pretty sure. I have not read that one. I don't think it had come out yet when I read through the series. However, this is on my reread list. Ethan and I, like I say, Ethan and I recently read through The Hunger Games together and I think he would enjoy these. So I think we're going to read through these together at some point. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This was one of the first series I read when I joined booktube and I know it's very loved. Um, I liked Crooked Kingdom better. I didn't dislike the series. I really, really enjoyed it when I first read it and I even made a video about it. But since then, looking back on it, it's not one of my favorites. It's just okay. It would probably be like a 3.5 for me, maybe. Crooked Kingdom might be a four. I really enjoyed Crooked Kingdom. The first book, three, 3.5. A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. We have A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight. This one's very popular. I read this one about this time last year. It was one of my favorites, uh, just for a fluff piece. No, it's not perfect. It's not literary. I don't expect to get any life lessons out of it, but it's a good entertainment read. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This is the first book in the... Does it have a name? I don't know. Either way, this is a trilogy. I've only read the first book, but I really enjoyed it. I was really surprised by this one. This was another book that was really hyped up on booktube. I bought it and then kind of didn't really want to read it, but I did anyways. And I think because my expectations were so low, I enjoyed it so much. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This was really popular on booktube as well. And I think it had the adverse effect to care of all because of that since this was so hyped up I was kind of disappointed by it. I enjoyed this one. I only read the first one It is a trilogy and I don't think I will continue on with the series. I don't know I just felt like I don't need to I felt like it was a complete -ish story a complete enough story in the first one that I don't really need to read the second two that and the romance really just threw me off in this book. I genuinely enjoy romance in books. I like my romance embedded into other genres, specifically fantasy. Um, I just didn't think it was necessary in this book and I didn't, I don't know, I didn't ship it. We have Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it was really good. It was a little different, but it was good. The Becca Cooper series by Tamora Pierce. We have Terrier, Bloodhound, and Mastiff. I'm reading through this right now. I'm currently on Bloodhound. Um, how far am I in? Not halfway. Oh no, almost halfway. I'm on page 288. So yeah, I'm about halfway out of like 550. So yeah, uh, I'm reading through this now. We have the Drill Trilogy, Drill Series by Amanda Hawking. We have Switch, Torn, and Ascend. 
I read this in like ninth grade and was totally engrossed in this. I think I read through this whole series in less than a week, like a school week, because I read this during school. So like five days I read all three of these. They're quick reads. I think her writing has improved. I have another one of her series down here, which I actually DNF'd. Um, not so much because of the writing, but because of the content. I'll get to that. Either way, I think her writing has improved. I, I actually, in a creative writing class I took in, in college in my undergrad, we had to pick a book that the writing was not so great in and fix it. And I picked one of these. I don't remember exactly which one. Um, I don't know. The writing is not bad. It could definitely be overlooked if you're just wanting a fluff piece to read. That's what I would recommend these as. They were a lot of fun. I kind of do want to reread them, but. We have The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing by Holly Plack. This was one of my most anticipated releases of last year. And I was a little disappointed. <laughs> the Wicked King was definitely my favorite. The, the, the Queen of Nothing just took a, will, a weird turn at the end. Yeah, it was just... It was fine. It was fine. I don't really ship the romance in these, if I'm being honest. Hashtag Jude does good by herself. Next we have the Fifth Wave trilogy. The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star by Rick Yancey. I read this series again in high school. A lot of these I, I read in high school. I would like to reread this though. I feel like I didn't really comprehend it as well as I would now. There were some things that, again, I just didn't get. It was really interesting though, and I would like to reread it. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a YA historical fiction. Everybody knows about this book. I cried the last time I read it. I read it this year. Mm, maybe, it might've been last year. I was pregnant with Sam when I read it. I do remember that much, which might've contributed to why I cried. <laughs> the Giver by Lois Lowry. I read this in high school and loved it. It was so good. I wanna read the rest of the series, but I'm a little hesitant because I've heard some people say that it's a little disappointing, but it was super good. This is that other series by Amanda Hawking I was talking about, it's Water Song. Yeah, the Water Song series. We have Wake, Title, Lullaby, and Elegy. I made it to Lullaby. I read the first two and the very, very beginning of Lullaby. This is about sirens, which I thought would be interesting. I'm into mythology. I can kind of consider that fantasy elements but I felt like I was reading a contemporary book when I was reading these and I don't enjoy contemporary. So yeah, there was one storyline throughout the book that I was really interested in and it was resolved-ish. I, I got enough of an answer at the beginning of Lullaby so I just decided to DNF it because I was just not enjoying myself if I'm being honest. And I Rise, Now I Darken by Kirsten White. I don't have the third book in this trilogy. I bought these two because I thought I would like them. I just haven't got around to them yet. Ember in the Ashes series. We have Ember in the Ashes, Torch Against the Night, and Reaper at the Gates. I recently bought the first one and the last one. I had the second one, and I need to get around to them. I should just preface by saying that all of the books that are left on this list I have not read. They were all on my TBR shelves. Here's that other series by Neil Shusterman. Uh, it's the Skin Jacker trilogy. Ever Lost, Ever Found, and Ever Wild. This was recommended to me. I had a BAM gift card, so I bought it. Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Sorry, I don't know how to say his last name. Yeah, this was a gift. And I am glad I got it, because I do think I would enjoy it. It's been on my TBR f for like a decade. Trickster's Choice by Tamora Pierce. This is... <laughs> I can't find the name of the duology, but it's a duology. Trickster's Choice is the first one. Trickster's Queen is the second one. I only have the first one. We have Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is part of the Infernal Devices. There's three of them, so it's a trilogy. I have the first two. I've said this before. I don't know if I'll actually read these. I tried to read the Mortal Instruments. Kind of found them problematic. Didn't really care much for Cassandra Clare. I don't know if I'll read these. But we'll see. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. The Selection by Kira Cass. Miss Per, yeah, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I can't say that word. By Ransom Riggs. Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. I'm reading through the series currently. I'm on book three, The King's Cage, and it's good. 
I'm enjoying it. I listened to this one on audiobook. Actually, I've listened to all three of them on audiobook. So, but I have the physical copy of the first book as well. The Alchemist by Michael Scott. Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Seventh Son by Joseph Delaney. Delaney? Dividing Eden by Joelle Charbonneau. Strange the Dreamer by Lonnie Taylor. I have read this one. I listened to it on audiobook. I highly recommend the audiobook. The narrator was very good. However, the romance kind of ruined it for me. I, I thought it would have been a great story without it. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. Endgame The Calling by James Frey and Neil Johnson Shelton. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. Seeker by Arwen Ellis Dayton. Roar by Cora Carmack. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. Clues. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer. I'm not entirely sure if this is why I am going to put it in this video. Anyways, Map of Bones by Francesca Haig. And then four of the Throne of Class books. I have Tower of Dawn, Kingdom of Ash, Empire of Storms, and Queen of Shadows. I've been buying these. They've been coming on bargain. And I'm reading the first book currently as an ebook. So, so yeah, there, this video is way too long. I have way too many YA books, especially that I haven't read yet. But that's fine. That's okay. I'm going to read them. And if I don't, I'm going to give them back to Second and Charles. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I am thankful for you. And we'll be back here next time, guys. See ya!